Well, the weather was a little better earlier in the day for barbecue, food, and beer. The well-liked mix during the summer months, and today, people in the Billings cheers for the ninth year in a row. Montana brews and barbecues, bringing craft beer from across Big Sky Country here to the Magic City. Q2's Mitch Laggy was at Metro Park with more from the Brewfest. Mitch? That's right, Zoe. It's a packed house today for the ninth annual Montana Brews and Barbecues. I talked to a bunch of folks here today, and they said that the weather is perfect for drinking. Now, this is billed as one of the only true brew fests in Montana. So naturally, I had to track down the reason why. The other thing that makes it a true brew fest is got to have it outside, enjoy the sunshine, and I think summer is finally here. And the other thing is that the beer has to be drank out of a glass, glass, and also it needs to come from a keg. So every ounce of beer you will sip out here is from a keg, freshly brewed at its freshest form. We have only Montana breweries out here. We have them from as far away in the west as Hamilton and Libby, and in the eastern part of the state as far away as Baker and Sydney. We actually did a computation. If you went to every brewery that's here and drove, you'd be driving over 2,000 miles to see the 35 breweries we have here. Yeah, we're not geniuses, but if you put together good weather, good beer, good food, and good music, typically you're going to get a lot of Montanans out. And if you want to get your very own taste of some Montana craft brews, the event is open until 10 tonight, and admission is free for everyone. Zoe, back to you. All right, thanks, Mitch. Looks like fun out there. And Mark did add that he tries to taste every beer before it's featured at Brews and Barbecues. I like his style.